Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder keg, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> well, he managed to escape this morning. Now he's seeking asylum at their consulate. They are all mad at hell. I can't believe he's I'm serious. He's at the shisha den right now, laughing his ass off. Hello. Hey, so what? Hey, Think they're so gonna so storm us? Oh. Oh. Welcome. area. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands. Which, of course, is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Huh? What? I'm telling. Oh, welcome, welcome. Stand aside. Hey, did you see what you 
inside. No, who, sister? That girl you went to. Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Jeez, what does General Zayden want? See for the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are at the far bottom of a very long list. Now, I'd worry less about Crystal, about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who sees our weakness. Ah, yeah. Hang as a traitor. Thought about that scenario for a minute or two? Thank you. Jeez. Huh? Hello? Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. Hey, printer man! Oh, those people, they have no idea what's about to happen. Don't think about it, just do the job. Some soldiers back at the school? I've heard them talking. They had fake Crystal Dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot the protesters. You know, to get things way. rolling. Jesus. Like I said, don't think about it. When brats like these play their games, there's always collateral damage. Make sure you're not in. It's a shitty outlook, man. We are part of this. Yeah, you know whatever, dude. Just get right out of my here, face. Right here, right now? Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Move along, Me? Printer. I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up, and somebody will. Come on. Come back and pick it up. Salam alaikum. You want a lamp? Is there dark times, no? My night. Hey, print. Move it. Yeah, why don't you go print something? Move along, printer. About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting.
Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what do you do? Prisoner, uh, never you mind. General Zaydan says the man is a traitor, and that's all there is to it. Probably got a cold feet about him. Attention, everyone! That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. Dawn are on everyone's lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's keep done. Keep sir. So and whatever don't you touch do, anything. just keep those printers everywhere. running. You're dismissed. General Satan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Smug fucking bastard. Thinks he can get away with the... Come on! Zaydan won't expect resistance from a tied-up prisoner. No. I found this. Tell the entry what can. What is that doing here? Time to decide. What should I do? What 
Don't tell me you're sleeping, Syed. Plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Hey, officer. Hey, this is... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold oh, I can run along and do your business, sir. Connie Engstrom, please go to the reception desk. screws and five sort of smaller screws. Need anything, officer? Five. Can that be right? Hmm. That's what it says. Okay. What else? Eight plastic uh, knobs, I guess you would call them. The military is here, Lisa. They have tanks. I'm not sure if they're that right now. Please, Lisa. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already fair. checked it into is, the building. Is, you can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known, well, that's easy to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep... Jeez.
Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. You're uh, <laughs> I gotta rub Klaus you down, sir. <laughs> Please go to the massage room. Uh, sir, if you cooperate, we'll be done in just a second. Thanks, sir. You're clean. Slow down, buddy. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 